Hey everyone, welcome back to the Charlie Hewitt Experience. I am your host, Charlie Hewitt. Uh, this podcast has been sponsored by Fun and Games and com. Fun and Games and Conspiracies bring Fun and Games and Conspiracies to you. Here we here today we have Junior Thera Academy student Noah Downing. How are you today, Noah? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Yeah. How was the um, school work today? Hard, difficult, easy. Mr. Kingish. I don't know. You got to give me yeah, some um, details. Yeah, you know, you know today. <laughs> Uh, it's my light day, so I have like three freebies today. So that's pretty pretty smooth day. Good week. All started on a Wednesday. It's already Friday tomorrow. So exactly. Um, how do you feel about the delay this morning? Did you wake up at like five a.m. and just realize it then, or yeah? So like the hard thing about for me is like during delays, I it's only like an hour, but I still somehow like struggle trying to decide what time I should actually wake up. So mm-hmm. I like end up waking up too early. This morning I got it like perfectly. I woke up at like 7.45 and then I got school like right on time. So it was perfect. I woke up this morning at six o'clock and then I saw my text. And once I look at my phone, I cannot go back to sleep. So yeah. I tried for 30 minutes just sitting there, my eyes closed and it was painful because yeah. I knew that I had to get dressed today. And it was just not, well, I mean, I get dressed every day. So it's like, it was, I get that confused out there. I dress every day, but I just did not want to get ready. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, as you can probably see, I'm wearing yeah, a tie I like the, today. I like the tie. I like the shirt. Yeah. You know, it's an outfit yeah. because I had to give an English presentation today that was about Mr. Rogers. And if you don't know, uh, Mr. Rogers is the guy who uh, with uh, who worked on ch- uh, children's television mm-hmm. Mr. Rogers neighborhood yeah and so basically my teacher Miss Heyman was like ooh we really need like a good opening for your presentation mm-hmm. and so uh, Tim you know Timmy Tim Kemp Tim Kemp was That's my partner goal. shout out Tim Kemp shout out Tim Kemp and so basically what we did is he was like all right so why don't Charlie why don't you sing the Mr. Rogers theme song in front of everybody and I was just like oh okay, Tim, you don't want to do anything? And he was just like, no. And I was just like, all right, sure, so I'll do that. So I, d- I did the singing opening, and everyone was laughing. I'm not sure if they were laughing at me or with <laughs> me, but Miss Heyman was laughing too. So <laughs> I'm glad with that. It was fun. Um, but, yeah, everyone's been coming up to me and asking me, oh, why are you wearing a tie today? I'm just like, because yeah. I had to dress up as Mr. Rogers. It's and it, I like it. It I, leaves I like him more it. confused befo- than, <laughs> than before. But um, Speaking of style, Last year on the basketball team, I won best dressed, and I know that kind of lets you heart heartbroken. But yeah. but do you, but do you think you can make a run this year at best dressed in the basketball team? I think for sure. I mean, what you wear is nice, not to hold you. But I mm-hmm. think I, mm-hmm. by far, like my drip is just impeccable. It's, it is for sure. Yeah, All I right. just think uh, from just just every day, just the consistency of the of the drip for sure. For and sure. okay, so what do you what was what's the best outfit that you probably come to school in? Um, that's tough. I I I did win T outfits of the day twice this year. Not to not to glow. It is extremely biased. I've yeah. never been on it. Once. <laughs> 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 um, no, nah, I had this. I had this. But my thing is like with my clothing, like it's nice, but it's like it's affordable. You know what I'm saying? It's like mm-hmm. it's not cheap, but it's affordable. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't wear really like anything too expensive. You know what I'm There's saying? There's no because, Gucci. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know, I wear anything. things comfortable, affordable, and you know, it was going to look nice for sure. So, but you know, just like a nice sweatshirt, you got to have colored khakis mm-hmm. just can change your life. You know, people like you got the, the, the beige khakis, but a pair of blue khakis can, can there, really yeah. change your life. And then mm-hmm. have a nice pair of Vans. I've been wearing a lot of Vans this year, you know, Everyone knows me as like more of a sneakerhead, but this year I kind of had to like try to step out of my box, wear more like Vans, more, mm-hmm. uh, more shoes that you know you see on a day to day basis. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty cool. Um, and so recently, you just changed your hairstyle. Yeah. Can you talk a little? Can you talk a little bit about that? So since I've been at there, I came here in seventh grade. No one has ever seen me with a haircut. Uh, I don't. I don't think anyone in my family really remembers me with my hair off. But um, yeah, I had braids this entire year. And then last season is when I first put the braids in, and uh, I liked them a lot. Uh, and then this year, my mom was like, all right, you got to do something with it. But the person that does my hair mm-hmm. couldn't do it till the following Saturday. So oh, I was right. kind of just stuck with it out. But, I mean, if you know me, like, I don't like playing with my hair out. I think it kind of weighs me down. I don't really know why. but It's I not as it. aerodynamic, as you said. Yeah, yeah, basketball. more more aerodynamic, I think, for sure. But, um, yeah, I mean – uh, 
I mean, I like it right now. But people say they like it, so I'll get a haircut and see, and we'll regroup on this weekend and see see what we're gonna do with it. All right, cool. And would you ever bleach your hair? Bleach my hair, like like dye it a different color. Like, like Odell. Odell, that's that's like his. I I, I like his hair a lot. I just. I just don't know too many people that could pull that off. You know, I don't think I'm bold. I mean, I'm bold. I don't know if I'm that bold, you know what I'm saying, uh, mm-hmm, to, to mm-hmm, go all out like mm-hmm. that. Od- Odell's different. different that, yep, they definitely are. Um, kind of on a different subject, Winter Wars. <sighs> so, seniors came home with that dub. Juniors walked away in defeat. And I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and gloat about it. <laughs> because I know next year you guys have a good shot. I mean, because sophomores and freshmen this year are pretty terrible, <laughs> collectively. But what do you think that the juniors need to do to improve next year as a team? Um, I'm not going to call anyone out personally, mm-hmm. but um, I think our buddy walk team mm-hmm. could have been a lot better. I mean, we, we kind of got it at the end, but, you know, it was a tough matchup going against with the seniors at first. Uh-huh. You know, I think if you went against the freshmen or sophomores, it, it would have made, made it more interesting at the end. I think the seniors still would have wiped down anyone. Um, also our tug of war team. I mean, I, I it was, I was pretty good. You know, I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. Had, it was pretty good. Your number had, one team was yeah, really good. We had a, a very good number one team, and I mean, we kind of just I don't know if it's something. I don't I don't want to 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 make any conspiracy theories. I mean, I thought the whistle was blown. I thought people got up before the whistle, but after reviewing the footage, there was no false start. So mm-hmm. you can quote me on that. Um, okay, but you heard I it here think, first. Yeah, no conspiracies, no false start. All yeah. fair play. But I just think, um, yeah, I just think that you know they, they underestimated the other team. You know they they didn't have Diz, uh, so I think mm-hmm. they they really underestimated them. But also, know, the fact that Moses got to the rope in like a split second, yeah, to change the whole thing. Yeah, Danye, yeah, Danye never even touched the rope. So I know that's you, a big that's a big difference right yeah. there. Yeah, because once Danye gets that rope, yeah, nobody's yeah. moving. Yeah, nobody's moving. Um, okay, so. I'm glad that you're coping with your loss very well. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't take L's. I take lessons. You know okay. Saying? Hey, all right. Yeah. Heard it here for, heard it here first. That is going to be trademarked by hashtag Che one day. It'll happen. <laughs> um, so, obviously, you're the captain of the uh, basketball team, yes. and I'm a part of the basketball team. Mm-hmm. Um, so, do you, ha- do you ever have – I've seen you a couple times doing, like, a pregame r- ritual in the locker room, but, like, is there any, like, a specific pregame thing that you do every single – time um well like this started this year i don't know if you guys have seen our games my pregame jump so like i'll I'll start from like there's like a minute left on the clock before warm-ups and i'll run from the bench and jump on someone's back in our huddle um i do that a lot um i usually never wear the same shoes two games in a row um and if i have a bad game and a pair of shoes like i learned this from isaiah thomas if there's no buckets and shoes i'll i'll I'll, I'll leave them alone for a little bit, let them marinate. You know what I'm saying? Get the the bad the bad vibes mm-hmm. off them and 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 regroup. So, but and then before usually every game, usually Saturday games, I'll, I'll go to Subway, uh, six inch, yep. um, Italian spicy Italian mayo, black olives, lettuce, and a blue Powerade. That is very bold with yeah. the black olives. Yeah, very bold. Um. Yeah, no, I I'm usually stuck on that bus with no food, and I'm just like sitting yeah. there on the way up to like St. Paul's or some shit. Like, yeah. I just don't want that. But then again, it's fine. I get food <laughs> after, hopefully, unless the JV teams drink or eat all of yeah, our stuff that we that's, brought. Yeah, that's that's another conspiracy. JV that, no, stop no, it's not a conspiracy. Them. It is a fact. Yeah, that is a fact. My yeah. mom brought three things of like. 12 packs of Gatorades, they were gone yeah. by the time. Yeah, and they, they, they played, like, two hours, and but, like, I know you're not that thirsty, you're not that hungry, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they just taking it for the road. Yeah, exactly. It's whatever, though. Um, So kind of, like, on this uh path where it's just kind of, like, goofy things in a game, what's, like, what is, like, the best celebration you've ever seen in a game that you've done, other people have done? Okay, so... OJ Mayo, high school, one of like the greatest high school basketball players ever. Mm-hmm. Um, played his last high school game, uh, California. Played at one of the like Staples Centers or one of those big arenas, high school championship, and they're up by twenty points. He gets a steal, and he comes down, throws the ball off the glass, dunks it from, and, and dunks it. And rather than like handing the ball to referee, he takes the ball and just chucks it into the crowd <laughs> and walks off the court. So I just thought that was really bold. Did he get a tech? 
Yeah, he got a tech, but yep. I mean, the game was over at that point. But I just thought that was it. just like that was just too saucy, like what what he did. Savage so I think, yeah, you, you can't you can't really top that. All right, I, I thought you were gonna bring up my celebration on the bench, but yeah, okay, that that's was, fine. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Tra- yeah, yeah. We'll let the on. record show. Charlie Hewitt, after making two free throws, did the Aaron Cooley dance. If yes. you don't know what the Aaron Cooley dance is, ask somebody. Yes. But he did that after making those two free throws. <laughs> It was a very bold move. Um, I regret nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, talking about music, do you do you have like a basketball playlist, like a pump up song? Um, pump up song. I don't know. I think. I mean, I listen to like a lot of like. I mean, Moses can second this. Moses kind of put me onto. It. I listen to a lot of J Cole before games. Kendrick. Mm-hmm. Um. Or like it depends on what kind of what kind of mood I'm in. You know what I'm saying? If I'm just trying to like dance a little before games, I'll throw on some Gunna. You know what I'm saying? If I'm trying to get motivated, then then definitely some 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 J Cole. Mm-hmm. Um, I used to listen a lot of J Critch, but not not as much anymore. Um, yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, me personally, some classic rock. You know, some um, some speeches. Okay. Motivational yeah. Motivational speeches. Yeah. No, no, seriously. Yeah. Like um. Yeah, no, like motivational speeches, it's just like, it yeah. gets you. It's like, yeah, I'm going to be the best I can be, yeah. stuff Eric, like that. Eric Thomas, for sure, I, I, I pull, I'll put that on my speaker before a game sometimes, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And, and and what other music do you listen to? Because because I'm sure not all the music you listen to is just like pump up basketball music. Yeah, so, um, I mean, obviously I listen to a lot of like rap, um, but like I love R&B music. I love like old old school music, like mm-hmm. Lauryn Hill, old school, old school type of stuff. Um my mom kind of makes fun of me because I'll listen to like random like BGs, eighty music or something BGs? like that. BGs. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, all right. So, you know, I like that. Um, yeah, you know, it's gotta switch it up sometimes. Okay, you know? that's all right. I I can't really picture you as a BGs guy, but yeah, you know. Hey, we're, you know, it's fine. Um, staying alive, classic. Yes, love for it for sure. For sure, can can never go wrong. Um. Okay. So where'd you go? Before there, did you go to like a private school, public school? So I went to Trinity Catholic Academy in Brockton, so Catholic school in Brockton. Okay, and yeah. what was it like in comparison to there? Um, I mean, it's a lot different. Uh, coming from like a Catholic school environment. Um, did you pray every morning and stuff like that? Yeah, we yeah. like pray every morning over like the loudspeaker. We have mass like once or twice every week and stuff, okay. and like we have like confirmation and everything. And, uh-huh. But um, that was like one of the biggest components. Um. Second, just like the workload, obviously, like this is a more challenging school. Mm-hmm. Um, athletically too, I thought that was like big for me coming from a school where I kind of was like the only kid that really played basketball outside of school. So like people kind of like looked at me as being like, like I guess like special. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because like I played basketball out of school, like I travel to places now, and then translating to here, like kids travel kid that you're 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 sitting in classroom with like a top 10 recruit in the country for like yeah. ba- for lacrosse or hockey or something like mm-hmm. that which i think that kind of really set me back like whoa like i'm not the only one that comes home at nine o'clock at night from practice and still have to do homework you know what i'm saying so i think that transition was really cool like seeing like kids like hey like this kid's like me in, in that respect yeah like there have been a couple kids over the years that have been like drafted by like the yeah NHL. exactly that's crazy that's and like crazy. the first round yeah from there which uh i think last year jay jay o'brien jay o'brien yeah. got drafted by the um the, the philly the flyers yeah so um I've got family in Philly, so when I saw that, I called him up, and I was just like, yo, you got a therapist and yeah. come in to play for you. Yeah. But then I found out he wasn't even going to play. He just went straight to college, yeah. which I have no idea how that even works with, like, hockey. I think if, like, you do all four years in college, you can get drafted by another team or something like that. Oh, okay, just, but yeah. if you only do a couple years, you can just yeah, go. Yeah, you can go right to that makes sense. team you get drafted to. Um, so I know people can't physically see you right now, but you're five foot eight, yeah. and, and, and you're a point guard, and nowadays you see a lot of point guards that are, like, Six foot eight, like um, like uh, the point guard on the uh, the Luka. seventy the seventy sixers. Oh, um, Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons, yeah. So, does that like motivate you at all? Be, uh, being yeah. shorter than everybody. Yeah, I mean, or the most, not everyone. Yeah, I mean, I just think that like I'm just always hungry. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I never, I've never been like really given anything, um, especially on a basketball court. So I think that just makes me that much better, and and it speaks to my character too. Like mm-hmm. I'll, I'll I'll never let you. You you beat me, you know what I'm saying? Just because you're bigger than me or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, like a 
uh, a penny is bigger than a than a uh, dime. But what's worth more? You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. um, that that's one thing I I kind of live by. So when I see a guy that's I'm playing against who's six three. Big six three point guard and I'm guarding. I kind of take that personal. Like, yeah, you might have this advantage, but I always have that chip on my shoulder. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat yeah. you. You know. Yeah, no, and I and I definitely see that in you when you play because, um, in practice all the time when you're up against Moses, you're always in his face. Yeah. And you're not afraid yeah. to back down. I think it's just like my trash talking, trash talking, trash talking game is uh kind of on another level. I think <laughs> I, 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 t- I take pride in that for sure. Yeah. Trying to get my. Well, my I mean, I don't think head. anybody can beat Daniel's trash talking. Yeah, no, I don't think you can. No, I don't his, think you his can. trash talking is silent is, but deadly. So, exa- he did, all right. So, for those of you that don't know, <sighs> Danye in games, people will like trash talk him. He'll just look at them dead in the eyes yeah. and just laugh at yeah. them, like like a genuine laugh. Yeah. And it it scares them off. Yeah. <laughs> it scares them off. Has also has the most double fouls in their oh, in history. Yeah, he's flipped kids <laughs> countless times. N- not so many this year, but last year, yeah. literally coaches were telling other coaches to watch out yeah. for Danye. <laughs> And Danye is one of the nicest kids I've yeah. ever met at there. So, like, I feel – it's like literally teams attack Danye. Yeah. But, you know, it's whatever. Shout out Danye. Shout out to Danye. That's right. Um. So, did you play football in middle school? I did. I was actually, like, like actually like pretty good at football. And it was, like, my first time playing in seventh grade. I see wide receiver, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I did seventh grade, then eighth grade. Jack Dorbon, goat. Shout out Jack Dorbon. Um, me and him were like the dynamic duo in mm-hmm. middle school because Jack Schneider and Colin Plant were like our two stud running backs, and they both had gotten hurt. So yeah. it was my time to shine. So, uh-huh. <laughs> so like I, I would get the ball uh, a lot of time, and uh, people actually thought I was better at football than basketball. I never thought that, but like I kind of just didn't put effort into football because I yeah. just always been focused on so much basketball. And then freshman year, I played a game on JV. And I was like, you know, I, if 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 it was my choice, I I'd still be playing football to this day. But mm-hmm. my dad and, and and the rest of my family were kind of like, all right, like you have to look at look at what's what's best for your future. So, is there anything else that you stopped uh, for basketball? Um, not necessarily. There's just things that like I would have liked to try. I think, mm-hmm. um, like. Like you think like every little kid played like literally baseball, literally baseball. Like I never really got that opportunity growing up as a kid. Like I always yeah. was just mandated to playing basketball, working out for basketball. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Which I think kind of hurt me a little bit because you know you can take skills from other sports and bring it toward towards uh towards basketball too. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. So we actually are. We just started a Q and A. So we have a couple questions. Like. Okay. Like, just for both of us to answer. Okay. So, from Nick Bauer, we have a question. Um, Nick.Bauer on Instagram. Is there a better lunch than shepherd's pie? That's tough. Uh, I think shepherd's pie, yeah. That shepherd's pie is good. But, yeah, shepherd's um, pie. I, for, for the record, shepherd's pie is my favorite, so I don't think anything Noah can say can top that. Unless it's Super Bowl lunch, because Super Bowl lunch Super is, Bowl another, lunch is a, another level. I, my dark horse, for sure, is the pesto pasta, chicken pesto pasta. That's it's bomb. Good. It's yeah, good. Throw it's some good. Parmesan cheese. I, 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 I vibe with the pesto pasta hard. I dig with that. And also, uh, s- sometimes they get like the, the chicken breasts, and they like uh, and they put it in... Um, and they put it in uh, a certain sauce. Yeah. Um, and, and that tastes really good too, mm-hmm. but that's going to be like top three. Um, all right. From Finn Doherty. So today, Syracuse uh, head coach of the basketball team, Jim Boheem, killed a guy. What? Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he was driving his car, and some guy jumped out in front of him, and he killed him. Okay. So, so this, is, this is really weird. I have a personal experience with Jim Boheem. And I've disliked J- Jim Beheim since I was in the sixth grade. You disliked grade. him? I have disliked Jim Beheim since sixth grade. Okay. So I will give you a story. So I'm in Saratoga Springs, New York at a basketball tournament. Okay. And Jim Beheim, I'm, I'm sitting at breakfast. It's a Sunday. We're, we're, we're like in like the playoffs of the tournament, you know what I'm saying, and bracket play. And I come downstairs, and I'm sitting, and I'm eating with my, with my parents, you know, the continental mm-hmm. breakfast. And I see this white dude with glasses up at the crepe station, you know, crepe station, and yeah. I'm like, yo, that's Jim Beheim. So I'm a, like, I'm a huge Syracuse fan at this time. Like I loved Carmelo Anthony, Johnny Flynn, like guys like that. Like I'm a huge Syracuse fan at this time. So I'm like, yo, like, I got to go talk to him. I got to talk to him. So I go up to him. 
I'm like, oh, Mr. Beheim, like, I'm a huge fan, like, um, like, you know, like, praising this dude, you know what I'm saying? And this dude just looks at me, he's like, thanks, and walks away. Uh. So, like, like, I asked for a picture, he's like, nah, thanks, and walked away. So, took, proceeded said to take no. his crepes, yeah, proceeded to, to take, a photo. yeah, proceeded to take his crepes and, 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 and be on his way. So, funny thing is, we played his son later in that, the, later on the championship. Did we, you kick his ass? No, we got, we got cracked. Oh, damn it. But they, they were nice, I think, his son, I think his son now plays at Cornell, and they had a couple other kids that were, like, nice at the time, and they're probably still playing, like, major D1 basketball right now, yeah. but. That's 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 really crazy. That that's really crazy. I had a um a bad experience with a with a with somebody in sports too. Um Teddy Bruschi. Oh no. I hate that man with the burning <laughs> passion. No, he may look like a nice guy, but when I was in the eighth grade and it was one of my it was my last year playing for Canton um basketball, mm-hmm. what happened was is I had a bad knee injury. It wasn't like AC uh um ACL or anything. But I basically couldn't walk on it for like a month or two. And so at one of the games that I showed up to, Teddy Bruschi was the coach of the other team. And so after the game, you know, I was on crutches or whatever. And I had, I had a Patriots hat and I had a Sharpie in my hand. And so I crutched up to um, uh, Teddy Bruschi after the game as he's walking out. And I go, oh, Mr. Bruschi, can I, uh, can I please have an autograph? And, um, you know, the, the Patriots hat and the, and, the, and the Sharpie's right there. And he says no, turns around and walks away. To a kid on crutches. To a kid on crutches, and he oh, said, "That's and, heartless." Yeah, no, and I'm, and I'm just like, dude, like, come on. I can never look at his commercials the same. No, because I, no, it's like I can understand like if I had to like crutch back to my parents and grab the hat and the sharpie and yeah. be like, oh, like I gotta go, but like, it was right there. All he had to do, if he didn't say a word to me, I'd be okay. Yeah. Like if he just signed it and like walked away, I'd be like, oh, Teddy Bruschi, cool guy. Did, it, no, did he, you guys beat them? Uh, I think we did, yeah. Yeah, that's probably why. North Attleboro uh, freaking sucks. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's that. Um, okay, so this is kind of a question, uh, kind of just for me, but are you moving to any other streaming services from Bait and Ibrahim? Um, so, we're trying to get it on Spotify, um, but we're not going to know how that's work, going to work out, because I'm not sure if I have to pay it all um, to get a, to update stuff, but Yeah. Another one that we have is another one that we have is uh, from Ken dot Daddy with two D's and two Y's. That's Kendall Bryant. How valid is the statement? No one fights like Gaston. Do you have any experience? Elaborate. So that's obviously a play question. Have you seen the play? Uh yeah, I did. But I remember like we did Gaston like eighth grade in Miss Cochran's uh um Miss Cochran's like play. And I think like Jack Schneider was gassed on, which I thought was kind of funny. Hey. And then we heard it again this year, so that was kind of dope. Um, me personally, I mean Finn Doherty, absolute unit. <laughs> can't, can't really mess with him. I mean, <laughs> that was like those one of the dudes that on my list of not to fight. He would absolutely annihilate kids. So <laughs> just can't do that. Um, so this is a question from Ed Connolly for you, Noah. Okay. Ha. <laughs> Um, actually, I think it's meant for me, but we're going to say it's for you. Okay. How does he say so smart and so cute all at the same time? How do you do it? I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> Oh, this is from Ed Connolly, by the way. Ed Connolly 7 on Instagram. Appreciate you, Ed. I mean, if it was for me, but I mean, we're on we're on the podcast with the drip god himself. You know, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. U Penn, Mr. Ivy, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, you just got to take care of your body. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For sure. Amen. Amen to that. All right. So here on the Charlie Hewitt Experience, oh, by the way, we're done with the Q&A for, for now. Um, we're going to do probably one every podcast, but we we do a game every time on the Charlie Hewitt Experience. Okay. And, and for my game, I know it's a little cheesy, but we're doing Would You Rather. Okay. And, and, some, and some of these choices are hard. Okay. Some of them are easy. Um, it, and hopefully you choose the right ones because okay. um, if you get the wrong ones, we'll take a pie and shove it in your face. <laughs> um, Zach, is that, is Zach, Zach, do you have the pies? <laughs> uh, that is a yes confirmation yeah, from Zach. Zach um, the pies. All right. <laughs> yeah. Would you rather Kanye West or Lil, Lil Skies? Lil Skies? Is that, uh, Lil Skiz? Lil Skies. Lil Skies. Is that how you pronounce it? Lil Skies? I'm not, yeah, Lil Skies. Kanye or Lil Skies? So like perform or like... How, however you want to interpret it. Um, if it's listened to, obviously Kanye. Kanye's a musical genius. Um, hearing his like political beliefs, 
I'd probably want to hear the little skies. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, but, yeah. you know, Kanye, everything besides Kanye is like good. You everything know besides Kanye being Kanye. Yes, exactly. You know what I'm saying? His clothes and all that, that stuff. Yep. Like I vibe with that, but like Kanye <laughs> the person, not, yeah. not so much. The slippery. That's all right. That's all right. All right. Would you rather Supreme or Bape? Um, well, you see the phone case, so. Oh, it's a Supreme phone case. Supreme, All right, you know fair. How much is that? Uh, did you buy that resale or did you buy it? Oh, uh, I bought it at a sneaker convention. It was like forty dollars. So. Was it worth it? Not really. Okay. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right, though. Um, we we all make impulse buys, I guess. Yeah. I, I make stupid decisions all the time. <laughs> Um, all right. Would you rather? I feel like this is gonna be a hard one, but for you it may be easy. Would you rather Nike or Jordans? For shoes, Ooh. for wear, for whatever. Um, that's tough. I mean, cause like a lot of like the retro Jordans and everything, but just like Nike as a brand, just like kind of like oversees like all of it. Yeah. So I'd probably just say Nike, um, cause like the player exclusives, um. Uh, like all the different, like the running shoes, the basketball shoes, mm-hmm. the lifestyle shoes, and all that. Yeah. So I probably, I probably say Nike. Okay. Um, me personally, I kind of like Jordans just for like the, I actually don't even own Jordans mm-hmm. because I'm cheap. Yeah. I, I I'm, 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 I, I'm just I like not paying you. money. Yeah. Uh, for shoes, the these Tims that I'm wearing right now are probably the most expensive shoes I've bought <laughs> in like the last like five years. Yeah, I've got these, uh, I got these Uggs in eighth grade and they nice. They, they, they stay with me. So if yeah. you ever see me a pair of Uggs, they look like they've been through a war. They have. <laughs> they have. Um, all right. Would you rather a bow tie or a normal tie? Because I know you like to spice it up sometimes. So bow tie easily. Mm-hmm. Um, I think just sometimes like a regular tie, you know, uh, kind of, can kind of be played out, but I mean, it all depends on, mm-hmm. You as a person, you know, I feel like you have to have the right like face and like neck and stuff to wear mm-hmm. to wear a bow tie. Um, and also, I think kind of like uh, it. It depends on how it complements with the rest of you're wearing, you know. But mm-hmm. but if it's me and I have a bow tie and a tie in front of me, nine times out of ten, I'm gonna pick the bow tie. And would you ever spend above thirty dollars for a bow tie? Absolutely not. Okay, good. Absolutely not. Good. I told you I can look I I can look good and 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 go to Savers mm-hmm. or something like that, you know. So. Mm-hmm. That works. Because yeah. uh, I went to Marshall's one time and I saw a Markdown Vineyard Vines um, bow tie. It originally was priced like 70 bucks and I got that for like 30 I was like, all yeah. right, sweet. I'll take that. Marshall's Looks nice. the plug, man. Oh, it's Back of course. to school shop and go to Marshall's. Calvin Klein shirt right now. Marshall's, 24, $24.99. Don't tell nobody that, though. All right. All right. <laughs> no, the real, the real question is, did you buy it in a tax-free state? Because that, that's a play right there. If you go up to New Hampshire just to buy stuff for tax-free... Really, that's a play in New Hampshire. If if you buy like a two thousand two thousand dollar uh, plasma screen TV, it's no tax on it. Yeah. That's fire. Yeah, that's, that's it, fire. It's, yeah, it's pretty nice. That's fire. Um, so a forty five minute drive could could be a long way. So, kind of n- n- not really a controversial question, but you may not want to answer it, and I and, and I understand that. Jamie Bork or Kevin Stewart? Ooh. Hmm, that's tough. I would say probably Coach Bork because like I've been with Bork longer, like mm-hmm. two years, and then Stu was only here for like a year. Mm-hmm. Um, I did. I have recently taught uh, Coach Bork how to properly dap. Um, you do not Ooh. use you do not use your left hand when you're dapping someone. You always have to use your right hand. That's left hand's a sign of disrespect. But um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, but yeah, so I I probably taught him that. But you no, know, Coach Coach Bork for for sure. You know, I mean, he always telling us to touch a line on suicides and everything. Yep. But uh, yeah, shout out, shout out, Coach Bork. All right, but, all right. So, how did that training session go? The 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 learning curve. How was it for Coach Bork? You know, was it? He was like extremely confused why he couldn't dab with his left hand. I'm like, bro, like you should just know, like that's weird. Like it is. Like, yeah. What? Would you shake your hand with your left hand? No, like no, no, no that's you just weird. Don't do it. No, that's you uncomfortable. Just don't do it. You know what I'm saying? No. Okay. And like even if he has something in his hand, like I'll wait for him to transfer now something yeah, to his right. to his right hand. Uh-huh. So, but yeah, I know he, he he got it a little bit. So that's you'll good. see it today at that's practice. Good. It's an update. Yeah. Okay. You've got to put your life savings on it. Duke or Tennessee in the Final Four this year? Duke with Zion or without Zion? Is that the current state? Tennessee. Yeah. But my dark horse, Big Blue Nation, Kentucky out here. Oh, get out of here. Get out. Yes, sir. A Calipari, we trust. Uh-huh. 
You're just saying that because he went to because he coached at UMass a couple of times. No, because <laughs> I I I've liked Cal Coach Calipari at Kentucky since since he left UMass. Not nah, since my brother was a junior in high school, I think, because I I met him. Oh, you met him. <laughs> I met him at a um. He was the nicest guy, uh, unlike Jim Beheim. Yeah. I met him at like AU Nationals, and um, he's watching Nerlens Noel play, uh, because Nerlens Noel played for uh the, the team that my dad used to coach. Yeah. A kid left and went to go play with BABC, uh, play with BABC, mm-hmm. which was one of like the most premier uh programs at yep. the time, and uh Nerlens Noel was on that team. He was watching Nerlens Noel. And Nerlens Noel was he ended from Massachusetts? There. Uh yeah is he, he was? yeah he's from Massachusetts. Do you know um, which uh, uh which town? No no that's fine. Um yeah so I mean I I went up and I like I snuck behind the coach's thing. My mom was like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "I gotta go meet Calipari." <laughs> so I like this like little cute fourth grade kid and I go up and I shake his hand. He's like, "Oh Noah like uh so we're that's like awesome. talking talking and stuff and he's like, "Where are you from?" And I'm like, "Boston." He's like. He's like, oh, you're from Boston, man. I love Pizzeria Regina, and Pizzeria Regina is like the best pizza, like in, in well, best commercial pizza, um, you know, in in Massachusetts. If yeah, you're, if you're from Massachusetts, you don't know what Pizzeria Regina is like. You you, you I, I don't know what's wrong with you. No, but, but listen, that th- that's what sports people people in sports should be like. Yeah, they exactly. should be encouraging because these kids look up yeah, to them, and exactly. so and so if you act like an ass, like if you like if you act like an ass to them, yeah, it should sh- you literally ruin a kid. Uh, yeah, a kid's dream of what they. That's have, what. Yeah, are. that's that's what my parents always like grow beyond like respect everyone. You know, from like the cleaning people to to the people who teach you. You know, what I'm saying because, uh, like respect them on your way up because you never know what they might yeah. do to you on your way down. So. Yep. Um, another one. Would you rather? This is gonna be our last. Would you rather? And then I have a final question for you. Okay. Um, would you rather be stuck with Netflix for the rest of your life or YouTube for the rest of your life? Oh, easily YouTube. YouTube. Because I mean, you can find Netflix stuff sometimes on YouTube. Mm-hmm. So, um, a lot of hoop mixtapes too. Oh, um, of course. Yeah. A lot, a lot of Kyrie for mm-hmm. sure. For sure. Also, YouTube's doing like YouTube Live. Yeah, and, and stuff, everything. So. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um. All right. So, what is your dream squad of all from all time for NBA basketball? You have to you 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 have to choose a starting five in the history. At all positions. At all positions. Okay. Point I'm gonna, guard. All right, so my point guard. <sighs> that's tough. So, well, I, I'm I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a, a passing point guard. So, I'm gonna go with Nash at my point guard. Steve Nash, all right. Steve Nash at my point guard. Um, at my two, Jordan. My three have to go Braun. Uh, four Duncan, and at my five Shaq. Mm-hmm. For sure. All right, yeah. fair. Um, my f- five is. Isaiah Thomas, okay, absolute beast. Um, kind of an oldie but goodie. Jerry West, okay. Uh, Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. I left LeBron out, but he could. The thing is, the thing is about all these different players is like LeBron makes everybody around him better. Yeah. But like these guys are already like yeah, already the best great. of the best. Yeah. So I like, understand. Um, Michael Jordan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Shaq. Okay, I like that. So I like that. But but honestly, it's not really like it's it's all opinion. There's like no fact about what's the best you could do. Because, yeah, no, you you, know, can, you can't go wrong with no. that really. <clears throat> um, all right, but cool. Thank you, Noah, so much for coming on the podcast. Thanks for having me. Um, it was a lot of fun talking about different things, and um, we're gonna go to basketball practice right now. So, yes, sir. all right, appreciate you. All right, thanks everybody for listening, and this has been the Charlie Hewitt Experience.